Hello friends, so welcome. Let's get started and work with the roles. First, let's add the link here to navigate to the role. Create page and then let's add the form and create a new role. So let's open the PHP Storm and we need to open the role index page first. And here when we have the role index hedge, index page hedge one, I'm going to cut and I'm going to add that inside the div with the class flex and justify between let's close and paste that in and then i'm going to add the link so first let's import the link from the inertia js then create a link here so link which is going to go and i'm going to add a strap to bind that because i'm going to use a route so route roles dot create and then let's add some classes also here. So I'm going to add class to be text white font. I'm going to say semi bold and let's add some, uh, so BG indigo, I'm going to say 500 on hover. I'm going to change the BG to be indigo 700. It's going to be rounded and let's say here, new role. If I go back, uh, yeah, we need to add padding. So I'm going to say PX to be three and PY to be two. Let's see. Yeah, now we are okay. If I click, nothing is going to happen because on the controller, so I'll open the road controller. And here on the create, we need to return a uh, component and first let's add here a return type which is going to be inertia response and then let's say return here and it's going to return inertia render and we are going to create a page inside the admin slash roles and the page is going to be named create so let's close this and let's save now the role index as a create dot view. Okay, first let's change the title here. So I'm going to say create new role. Okay, then let's import all the table imports components because we don't need the table. So let's remove the table and let's say here is going to be a form and also remove the H1, the shelf is going to be to the roles index and let not new role, but it's going to say back to the roles. So go to the new role and yeah, here we are. Now let's add the form and for that, I'm going to open the, inside the pages we have out and the login. So I'm going to import So let's copy this form here and paste it in the create when we have the form. And yeah, also we have auto imported the primary button input label checkbox. We don't need that, but we have a form and we need to import also from the inertia view three, the use form. And here let's remove the define roles, define props for roles. I'm going to create a constant to say form, which is going to be equal with the use form. Add an object with a name, which is going to be initially an empty string. And then on the form, input label for not name, but let's select all of them and say, not email, but we need name, sorry. And also the value is going to be name. Type is going to be text. Okay. Let's close this. Uh, we don't need, we need only the name. So let's remove the other inputs. Let's remove this link here. And on the primary button, we need to say store or create. Let's say create. 
and not justify and I don't like to justify and here so let's remove that and on this one I'm going to say uh, max width is going to be md and mx out okay so we have the labeled input and the input error very good now here on submit we say prevent and call the submit method which we don't have and I'm not going to create because I'm going to call directly here the form dot post and let's use the route which is going to post to the roles uh, dot store okay and let's see now let's go back yeah we have something like this and let's refresh okay now let's uh, open the terminal and I'm going to create a new terminal here and create a, a request so let's say here artisan make a request and let's name it a uh, create a role a request hit enter and let's close this now and let's open that create role the request so let's say create role request here which is going to return true and authorized and here we need only the name for now so let's say here is going to be required and let's close and now let's open the road controller and on the store method let's use that create a road request and here I'm going to say a role from Spati model create and pass here an array with name which is going to be the request name okay like this or better because we have only one is no problem but what I want to do what I do in the most of cases is say request validated and here in the validate create role request we have only the name and which is the same and then I'm going to return return to the route which is roles.index okay and let's see now let's go back refresh let's go to the roles we have admin moderator and the user and let's create a new role let's say test role create we are back and here is the role if I say new role and let's say create like this let's remove this uh, error so on the form on the text input I'm going to remove the required and now let's say create the name field is required okay if I go back and let's see we have a test and let's say let's say now test two good here we have okay friends that's it about this video and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much